Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have another Squarespace tutorial for you and I'm going to show you how you can add your Instagram feed to your homepage and that Instagram feed will immediately update as you post new content to your Instagram. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how you can add it to your homepage but essentially you can add it to any page on your website. So for this purpose, I'm going to be adding it to my site's footer because honestly, I think it looks nice when you add it to the footer. So I'm going to click on edit and then I'm going to go to the footer section and I'm going to click on add edit footer and then I'm going to click add section, add blank. So now we can add a little bit of text that says Follow me on the gram. We're going to center that, make it a heading three. And now I'm going to click out of it and I'm going to add the plus sign. And then I'm going to search for Instagram and I'm going to click on Instagram. And then it's going to tell me that I need to choose an account. So I'm going to click on add account. And then it's going to tell you that the pop-up window will appear and you need to authorize Squarespace to connect this account to your site. So I'm going to click on OK. And now it's telling me that I already connected Squarespace to my account, but I'm going to click on Allow for the purposes of this tutorial. And now it's going to automatically populate connected account right here. If you have multiple Instagram accounts, you can connect all of them and you can choose which one you want to connect to your site. So I'm going to click on My Design Studio and sometimes it'll give you this error. So if that happens, just exit and then uh, it'll show up and now we can edit or set it up the way we want. I mean, obviously this is large and we don't want it to look like that. So you can go under the design tab and you can change how it's displayed. Personally, I like the carousel look, so I'm going to click that but you can also you can also choose a slideshow which displays only one post at a time and then it displays the caption and the other posts are displayed underneath the grid, the grid is the default one you can also choose stacked like i said i don't think those these uh look that all that attractive so my personal preference is for the carousel and i'm going to select that one and then i'm going to say automatically transition between slides we're going to set it up to like four seconds and then I'm going to select show next and previous controls. But if you have it uh, to automatically transition, you don't really need to do this. So I'm going to uncheck that and active alignment. I'm going to set it to center and then I'm going to set this open links in your window. So that basically means once they click on your post, it'll automatically go to your Instagram, to that Instagram post and it'll open up in a new window. So that's as far as uh, the design settings that you have available here. But as you can see, it still does not look as pretty as it can look. So I'm going to do one more change and I'm going to just kind of sort of click on this blue line at the bottom and now it'll appear with this dot. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on this dot and I'm going to drag it up like so, so that it's narrower. And now, as you can see, it's it looks nicer than it did. And the posts are scrolling and it's automatically updating when you post new content. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on format and I'm going to change the section height to small and if you want, you can add, uh, you can change like the background width to be either full bleed. So it spans from one edge to the other, or you can change it to be inset. I'm going to leave it as full bleed. You can change the colors. So you can choose any of the colors that you have set in your palette. I'm going to leave it as white and then I'm going to click save. And that's basically how you can add the auto updating Instagram feed to your Squarespace website. And now when somebody clicks on it, as you can see, the post automatically opens up in a new window and it takes them straight to that post. That's it for today's video. And if you like this tutorial, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up. And if you're looking for more tech and website tips, that's what this channel is all about. And I would definitely encourage you to subscribe. 
And if you're looking for a little bit of help with your website, go to ladiesignstudio.com forward slash roadmap and you can download a free interactive website roadmap for Notion, ClickUp, Asana and Trello that walks you through the process of designing your own website step by step. That's it for today and I'll see you next time. Bye.